Wow. Couldn't make it back. Took the health pack. Or not the health pack, the heat pack. And um, guess who forgot to set his spawn point? There we go. That was really smart, OG. Oh, mother. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming. And we found another locked chest here. Uh, he's a level two wolf, isn't he? <coughs> I, don't have, <coughs> I don't really have enough ammo to deal with him. Um, we might need to draw him off. Let's just see which direction he goes in. Yeah, go that way and keep going, you bastard. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's just draw him off this way and then we'll circle around. I'd kill him if he was a level one and just use my pistol ammo, but... Uh, just, I, I could kill him with a shotgun blast, but I just don't have enough to, uh, to afford, to be able to afford to do that right now. So let's circle around this way. Uh, by the way, we have two days left, I think, in February. But as you can see, the snow is gone. And uh, we're back to greenery again. And, uh, okay. Let's see what's in here. Come on, game. Give us some fantabulous stuff. Um, That's a lot of adhesive. Yep, that's a lot of adhesive. And we got some rifle rounds. That's good. Let's load her up. So we got a full clip there. Um, did we get some pistol rounds? Yep, we got some pistol rounds. I think we got a couple shotgun shells. Nice. Four in the gun. And then, uh, did we get any magnums? Nope. Uh, but we got some <clears throat> parts there. And, uh, yeah, the weapons parts, that's good stuff. So, yeah, pretty good chest. And uh, cotton seeds, yeah, we really need to have cotton seeds. My my winter coat, by the way, is broken, so I'm wandering around without it. I still have cold tolerance up to minus four. Um, and it was really cold this morning, but uh, as I kind of dropped down into the valley here, it warmed up a little bit. But we can't be... We can't stay out really late, um, at, you know, for a few more days because it, it's going to be way too cold for us at night at this point. I, I'm one piece of cotton shy of being able to repair my winter jacket. It really bites, but good news is winter's damn near over. Um, and so, you know, we won't have to worry about it too much. The current clothing that we're wearing should be fine for you know, once March hits, in most cases, still could get, uh, I guess, really cold during a rainstorm maybe or something, but for the most part, I think we'll be okay. So, um, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep... Oh, I need to be careful. There's rogues right over in this area. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this season going or if I want to start a season two and make that house along the river that I had mentioned in the last episode. Or, if I do keep this season going, I'm debating whether or not to increase the the days in the year maybe to 80. Because, um, man, this went really fast. I only basically had five days per month. Um, and, you know, we made it happen, but we, we've gone almost an entire year now in this game, and I still am struggling, you know. Is that normal <laughs> for new players to to go an entire year and still struggle? I mean, you know, I I am no not even close to being in the end game. We're barely in the mid game. I mean, we are in the mid game, but the problem is I just, you know, keep having to take two steps backward to take one step forward, it feels like. Um so, yeah, I don't know. I you know, living in that cave is just, and I've mentioned this to you guys before too, is it was and 
as useful as I thought it was going to be. Um, I kind of don't like it, actually. And I thought, well, what if we, you know, move our stuff uh, to a, a new location? But you can't. It, it's not possible to do that. You can only move existing equipment uh, within a certain range of the BCU. And if you try to go further than that, then it just, you know, kind of pops back in place. So it's not, po oh, is that another lock trait? It is, man. And we don't have another lock pick with us. Um, the question is, would it be worth trying to come back out to get it? Let's see, whereabouts are we at? Um, but. This is our home here. It's almost due north of us, kind of along this little road here. Yeah, I might be, might be worth trying to go back and get it. It's just, hmm, how much daylight do we have left? I can't really see where the sun is. Yeah, I don't know. Chilly. Thing is, is like I said, I don't want to be caught out here at night without my winter jacket or we are going to have some cold issues guess we could maybe make a heat pack yeah why don't we do that why don't we go back and see if we can make a lock pick and then come back and grab this crate and i'll make also make a heat pack too and we're getting higher here but there's a wolf on the other side to you know keep us warm uh, I'm not going to get that ore on the trip back. We might even find a piece of cotton in that crate. That would be amazing. I hear a wolf. I don't see him. Let's get this ready in case something jumps out at us. Um, I believe we had one, eh, see I'm out of stamina, but I believe we had one base attack in between the last episode and this one, and uh, I managed to kill them all, but did the usual damage to the base, um, and it was, it was really frustrating too because I had just repaired everything, finally, I mean everything was 100%, and then they attacked. <laughs> It's like, oh my gosh. <coughs> but yeah, I'm I'm just not really fond of this location. I'd ask you guys what you think I should do, but but the problem is I'm so far ahead of you. By the time you guys see this video, I'm I'm probably maybe t two weeks ahead of you guys by now. Um, so I can't really ask you that. Okay, so let's drop a few things off. Um, I'm putting, I'm growing cotton seeds in here, so let's put those in there. Does this need water? It kind of does. Oh, we have water in there. Okay. Let's put the food in here. I'm, uh, pretty happy with how well we did food-wise over the winter. Um, it was not a problem at all. Not, not even close to being a problem. It worked out really good. Okay. Um, do I have some wood? Yeah. Let's split this in half. I'd like to keep this going if possible. Uh, put this stuff in here. Uh, those are tomato seeds. We'll put those in there. And uh, those seeds can go in there. This can go in here. So, yeah, we have those 21 nails, and that is it. I'm going to put that there, that there, these go in here. Uh, actually, if we're going to make a lockpick, do we have everything we need to make a lockpick? Uh, yes, we do. It's going to set us back. I'm trying to build up our power and stuff so we can get that lever action rifle, but I don't think we should pass up a locked crate if, if we don't have to. Uh, all right, so let's go. Let's just grab all of those, and I think we needed some boards and some of this. All right, let's make that. Goodbye, power. It was nice knowing you. 
that in there and that in there. We picked up nine adhesive out of that crate. That was pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Put all that stuff down there. And now uh, we want to make uh, a heat pack. So we need one of those and some of this. Okay. Uh, yeah, here's here's my my poor broken jacket. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right, let's chow. Uh, oh wow, we're like completely out of food. Uh, let's eat. Uh, let's eat five fish fillets. I mean, we're completely out of protein, like all the way out. Yep, that gets us to the top. Well, almost to the top. How did we? Did we lose fruits and vegetables on that? I don't know. Okay, let's eat three of those. And let's eat a tomato. And that gets us pretty much all the way where we need to be. All right. Um, let's drink you, and we'll bring an extra one with us. And <coughs> head out. See if we can get to get to that that crate. So we basically need to just go due south, kind of follow the. The road, as it were, or north, I mean, not south. Here, so let's see here. Um, I think it was right about there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll... Let's see if we can get there. Yeah, I don't know. This, is, this might not be a good idea. <laughs> this might turn out to not be such a good idea. Um, I mean, I do have a health pack too, so worst case scenario, uh, we don't want to tangle with anything right now. But it was just kind of up this road here. Okay. Now, wasn't it kind of along in here? Let's look. Kind of hard to say. I thought it was like kind of right here at the top of this hill. Here, you know what? Let's get this out. Maybe it was a little further down. Let's, let's go just a little further. I have a feeling maybe it despawned. Or maybe we just aren't finding it. Alright, there's a level 3 wolf there. Okay. Yeah, because if I remember right, I thought we kind of went up this hill and I saw it towards the top of the hill. But I just don't remember for sure. Like right around in here. Maybe, did we go up this way? Yeah, I remember seeing that there. I should have done a little bit better job of trying to remember where the hell it was. Um, or maybe I did do a good job of remembering it and it's just not here anymore. Alright, well... Let's get back. If I could make it back without having to take that heat pack, that would be good because then we can save it. Remember we ran, you know, we were kind of running along the little road looking thing. Let's look at the map again. Yeah, I think it was like right at, oh, for Pete's sake, really? Ugh. It just never ends, man. It just never frickin' ends. Son of a bitches. We're gonna have to, uh... Probably take our medi back now. Alright. 
Let's do it. I can't believe we're not bleeding. Uh, oh, there's still a guy down there. Shit, okay. Let's get in here. That was a magnum shot. Got him. Okay. I don't think they did major damage to our base. I think we got here on time. Uh, before they were able to really mess it up bad, so. Uh, where's the other guy, guy that we killed? Here, right here. Yeah, we got a little bit of ammo out of the deal and some more weapons parts, so that turned out to be okay, actually. Let's just look at the walls here. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing so damaged that we start to we're seeing cracks, so it's probably pretty pretty mild overall. Good, 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 good. Okay, well, um, it's kind of a bummer we didn't find that lock crate, but on the plus side is we have a lock pick for the next lock crate, uh, crate, crate that we find. So. Uh, always looking on the bright side, right? Okay, let's grab all that stuff. Uh, we'll put that in there. We'll put those in there. So we got 60 weapons parts. That's really good. And we ended up not using the heat pack, too. So we have that for later as needed. Uh, all right, so let's load up our shotgun. Do we get any magnum rounds? No, but we can probably make some. Let's load up our rifle here. Okay, and then uh, with, I don't have any more casings, do I? Nope, okay. Oh, I got some nine mils in there too. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and make three magnum rounds. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. That's not too bad in terms of ammunition. Uh, oh, and we got some fish oil too. That's actually very good because then we can make another one of these. And then have the ability to make an antidote if and when we get infected later on, which we probably will. Because it happens, you know. It happens. Okay, let's put the blueberries in here. We sure lose our protein fast because of the cold, but, you know, that's kind of to be expected, I guess. So we're about halfway down. Let's cook up these rabbits. <coughs> and then... um. Let's see, do I have a hammer? Yeah, I do. Let's just take a quick look and see uh, what things look like here. Yeah. This one could use some attention. That one could. So it looks like they were kind of hitting on this side here. Uh, I don't have any wood. Yeah, we got to get wood. Okay. Okay, well, let's put this away for now. Um, I would actually like to make a medical kit, so screw the antidote. We need a we need a medipack. So we need one of those and one of those. Let's see all of those guys. Alright, we'll make a new medical pack and load up this. Okay. Lock, cocked, and ready to rock. Um, let's grab... Let's drink this. And grab another one. And... Um, probably shouldn't put anything more in this crop plot. Because we're going to... We're going to probably move those back outside. Fairly soon. I think. I don't know. I mean, they do grow in here. And they're safe in here. That's the thing. Probably would grow better outside, though. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to... Um 
Hold on a second here. Yeah, I'm going to go um, g gather more stuff, and I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, look what we got here. Lock chest. So I'm, I'm kind of down in the south here. Uh, just gathering resources and boom, baby. Look at all that stuff. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so we got some more magnum rounds and some rifle rounds. No shoddy rounds, but that's all right. Uh, let's fully load our magnum. So a fully loaded magnum and a fully loaded rifle and a fully loaded pistol and a partially loaded shotgun. Can't complain about that, man. Can't complain about that. Plus, we have a little bit of extra ammo in some cases too and we have 15 nails to boot what do you know and three alloy sheets love it okay yeah that was definitely worth the price of admission um let's go back down to the creek here and fill up these canteens while i'm thinking about it all right okay cool um and we got some copper and iron shards Almost enough right there for a whole nother lockpick. That's great. Okay, let's go check this chest over here. I hear a wolf. He's just, he's a level one. So yeah, let's see if we can get him with our pistol. There we go. He's a little tougher than the black level one, so that's why I shot a few more times. Probably one more time than I needed to, but... It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. So we got four pieces of fat, which is great. We can make uh, biofuel for the generator. And get the our power up to uh, make the lever action rifle. I want to make that and try it out. Okay. So let's go over this way. We'll get this grub tree here. Might see a crate way down off to the left there, but I'm not sure. We'll go investigate. Let's do some ABC here. Always be crafting is what that stands for. Which, by the way, I don't completely agree with. I mean, it's a nice concept, but it's not always practical. Like, for example, let's say you have a bunch of wood that you've chopped up. Well, if you turn all of that wood into planks, then you won't have enough for your fire or for repairing. So, always be crafting, but within reason. That's the way it should be. Got to thinking about something, too. Uh, let's go over here. We were down in this area a few episodes ago when it was uh, still winter time. Yeah, he's a level three. We'd have to use a shotgun shell on him. I think I'd rather not. Let's see if we can just stick to the level ones for now. Um, we got to be careful too because the, there's a hunter base not very far away from here. Uh, there's a crate up there and a crate back the other way. Anyway, um, we had, we were on the island in the lake there, and I was wondering if the hunters could get across the water. Um, of course, they would be able to in the wintertime, because they can just run across ice, but in the summer, or, you know, when there's no ice, I wonder what they would be able to do. But I got to thinking about that a little more, and I'm, I want to see how far away from the shore the island actually is because what you could do is you could build on that island and just make a bridge to the shore and that would probably I would think encourage the hunters to come across the bridge so they still have a way to get to you but you have a way to funnel them into like a you know almost like a kill zone I mean I don't know if their AI would work that way but that's something I was thinking about. Um, so I'm talking about that island out there. So let's go over that. Is that a hunter fishing? Or is that just a bush? Yeah, it's just a bush. 
So let's go over there and look at that and just kind of see if we can figure out if that would be feasible at all. Because it would be really cool to live on, you know, on an island out in the middle of a mountain lake. I think that would be awesome. But I, I wouldn't want to break the hunter, uh, you know, the hunter mechanic in the process of doing that. So we would still need to give them a way to get to us. Yeah, we have a late winter snow. That's actually not a good thing. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. I do have this seat back though. Um, so yeah, if if I thought that could work, then maybe when we do season two, we build down here instead. I still like the idea of doing the island river thing though too. But, yeah, like I said, let's just run over here. I'm not really killing chickens right now. I'm still killing rabbits because we need the hide. But I've got tons of feathers just from looting and stuff, and I got lots of food. So I'm not really wasting arrows on chickens right now. So, yeah, let's assess this, what the possibility would be to, you know, make a bridge across. Um... I mean, de definitely doable. Definitely doable. It would be... That'd be quite a few foundations. But it could be done. Uh, I wonder if we could do it with ceilings instead of foundations. That would be really neat, though, to live out there. Um, that island we can't get to because it's on the other side of the fence. The other nice thing about this location is it's down really low. Um, so it's going to be warmer down here, you know. <coughs> so there's that consideration as well. Okay, well, I'm going to work my way along the fence here. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think the fence will probably curve up and follow this line that I've already uncovered. Uh, but, yeah, I'm just going to kind of work my way along the fence and keep looting and harvesting wood and stuff like that as uh, we work our way back to the base. Yeah, uh, you know what? I, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to officially end the video here, but I'm going to keep the recorder running. And if, you know, something crazy happens, something camera worthy happens, uh, I will show it right at the very end of this video. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next episode. And I think what I would like to do is keep this season going at least long enough to get the lever action rifle so we can try it out and see you know see if it's all it's uh touted to be so to speak and then probably in the in season one here and start season two um and i i just have to try and decide do i want to do the island lake with the bridge to the shore kind of thing or do i want to do the island the river island uh which is way up in the north I like the area up in the north a lot, but living on that, a lake island would be really cool too, so I'll think about that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, what level is this guy? Oh, level three. Yeah, let's not mess with him. If you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share other video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Stay away from me, wolf. See you guys. Wow. Couldn't make it back. Took the health pack. Or not the health pack, the heat pack. And um, guess who forgot to set his spawn point? There we go. That was really smart, OG. Oh, mother. All right. Let's see if we can get back there. I can't, I don't have time for that. We we're pretty close to the base. But uh, the game decided to do one last winter blow, man.
Caught me off guard. What we're going to have to do is go back to the base, warm up a little bit, and then run for the pack. Should be able to pull it off. Yeah, forgot my spawn point. That was smart. And I forgot to close the door, too. And there's no fire. Of course there isn't. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, I guess um, we really don't have any wood. you got to be kidding me. Can I put a couple of these in here? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. All right, first thing we're going to do is that. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Let's warm up and heal up a little bit. We've got a tiny bit of time. Um, let's take, say, three of these. And put that in there. Uh, what's this? Oh, I guess we had two heat packs. Wait, we do? No, I think the game must have given that to us. Because it's still winter, I'm guessing. Let's drink this. And... Uh, let's split these in half. Oh, here, we'll just eat five. That way we don't gotta worry about it. Okay, warm up, warm up, warm up. Warm up and heal up. We might actually end up popping this. But our bag's not too far away. It's just right up there. Um, Alright, let's get this stuff back in the usual location. Oh, I heard a pig. We need to kill that if we can. Go away, wolf. Get the hell out of here. He's a level four. All right, we got our clothing back on. Uh, looks like everything's in the right spot. Chest over here. run up and around this way. We gotta get back because our health is not good. I'd rather uh, save our medipack if we can, but we've got to scoot. No. Oh, that's the pig. Okay. We might try and come back for him. Yeah, we're cutting this close. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's warm up a little bit here. Put a couple things in the fridge. It's a level three pig. Oh shit. I don't have any arrows. pieces of fat and a pork chop. What more could you ask for? 